Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Happy birthday. I noticed the Coca-Cola. Uh, Where did it come from? It probably came from Georgia, <laughs> uh, from my district. And uh, if you need more Coca-Cola, uh, we can supply you with more Coca-Cola. Diet Coke. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, I'm proud to join Chairwoman Jenkins in introducing the Taxpayers First Act. This bill improved the independent appeal process taxpayer services, and enforcement. It also makes common sense updates to the IRS and tax court structure. This is a good and timely bill, and I hope all of our colleagues will support it. I would like to begin by thanking Mr. Buchanan, our good friend and the former subcommittee chair, for his dedication and commitment to taxpayers. I will also like to thank Chairwoman Jenkins for continuing this good work and sharing her expertise with all of us. So thank you, Ms. Jenkins. Most important, I would like to recognize our staff, all of their good and great work. They work day in and day out to translate what we heard in our hearings and meetings into good policies that will truly improve taxpayer services. Mr. Chairman, for the last year and a half, the Oversight Subcommittee listened, asked questions, wrote letters, and took our time. In particular, I'm very proud of our work to set an income level for the private debt collection program. This provision responds directly to the National Taxpayers Advocates 2017 Annual Report to Congress. As you know, the program costs three times more than it collects. It also targets and abuses thousands of low-income taxpayers by enrolling them in installment agreements that they cannot afford. In my heart of hearts, I believe that the program is a shame, shame and a disgrace, and that it must end. I'm glad that our bill moves us in the right direction. Through it all, the subcommittee did good work, necessary work. We push aside politics, and we put the taxpayers first. From the beginning, we committed to bipartisanship, and we refused to abandon our course. As a result, we wrote a bill that improves tax administration in time for tax day. This is the first time in many years that the committee reached this milestone. The process and the product should be an inspiration to each and every one of us. In closing, I hope that all of our colleagues will support this legislation. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back my time.